Welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. We are here with the lovely Lady Callie. And what episode is this? I think this is episode 6. Yeah, we finally got her pretty face back, right? We're no longer a little ghoulish, no longer have the rotting flesh thing happening. You know, honestly, it's not very appealing, so... Very cool stuff. Now, also, actually, you might be hearing the beating of the hammer in the background, and you know who that is? That is our blacksmith, Lennon Grast. So let's check him out. You, <coughs> stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenny Grast. Just a simple blacksmith. I was thinking Lennon Grast. You, are, <laughs> uh, uh, you can tell I, uh... Another useless anyway, traveler. I grew up in the uh, period of time the at the end of the Cold War. With his feet Very tip in the tip end of the Cold War. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Well, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. Your equipment, let me have it. All right, cool. So with him, we can talk to him, we can buy items, um... But we can upgrade and repair things, and really that's what matters. Also, I can't remember if I have a bow, but if I do, I want to get some arrows for sure. Not a big fan of the crossbow, so let's see here. Repair powder. Night shards. Yeah. All right, now we don't actually have a lot of resources at the moment. Hey, you know what? I'll waste your time if I want to. It's going to be okay, buddy. Now... Oh, do I have any souls? I don't. So I really need to go and just kind of continue on with the adventure from where we left off. That's fine. Let's do that. We got our body back. We did some leveling up. So you know what I want to do? I want to go back to the Forest of Fallen Giants, and we're going to go back to the Cardinal Tower. And I never saw the old lady. Her name is Melentia. I never saw her relocate and she's opposed to actually like I'm I'm confused as to why she has not relocated because that's typical behavior for her character and her AI but that's okay all right the dark night stone altered state of tight night oh yeah that's true. You know, we really haven't gotten into any of the cool stuff. Now, you'll notice I have 62 soul arrows. Why is that? Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to summon somebody, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some, we're gonna do some cool co-op. Um, I didn't really plan for that, but it just kind of happened to be right there. And it, it, with as old as this game is, and, you know, I, I kind of want to pick up every opportunity to do some co-op. Now, I'll try and avoid it for the DLC stuff, though, because... That's stuff that, you know, not as many people have done, and uh, not as peop many people have covered. Um, hmm. In the meantime, in the meantime, what? I'm in, in the meantime, I'm waiting on him to be summoned. Hey, all right. We have Hopped Bonhoff 254. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to weigh a righty-ho, righty-ho here. And he bows. Very cool. I need to edit my gestures. I never thought about that. And we're going to go this way. Sorry that you can't hear me. Um, everyone else can hear me, though. And, oh, hey, you're accidentally internet famous. Oh, no! No! Look how terrible I am. You probably think I'm a horrible player already. Man, who is this noob? This guy is just awful. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, hollow soldier leggings. Oh, oh, I'm going to get in the circle. Thank you. I didn't know he could do that. Well, I mean, I guess it should be obvious, maybe, right? Like, he's like a cleric or something. Yeah, he can't hear anything I'm saying. So, like, he has no idea what, what I'm actually capable of. So, I'm going to have fun kind of surprising him. Oh, that didn't kill any of them. Oh, it did. Killed one of them, anyway. Ah. Ah, man, I take a lot of damage. No! 
Ah! Uh, <laughs> man, I am playing terribly here. I need to. I need to actually go ahead. Um, I'm kind of doing this early morning. This is the only time I've got time, so I know I'm not kind of thinking through this as rationally as I should be. Uh, but when I come back for some episodes later, I'll be in good shape. Now, luckily, this is only the Forest of Fallen Giants. And we're going to go to get some hidden items. Well, not really hidden. Oh, they're sort of hidden. Yeah. Yeah, there is the Pharos. Oh, that's the door I was thinking of. Yeah, so this guy has definitely played uh, played a good amount. And this treasure chest has a trap for sure. So, yep, there we go. Gonna get that. He knocked on the door. I never heard anyone come out though. There we go, they're awake now. It's a fun little trick, actually, to force them into opening the door so that you may go ahead and, and fight them. What? Oh, it's because the, the shield caught part of it. Oh, shoot, I'm about to lose my phantom. Hey, I thought I switched weapons. I pushed the button to switch weapons. Oh, I'm going to lose my phantom. Oh, no, you know what? Man, I'm in... All right, I'm in bad shape. Look at that. I think my uh, my death to video ratio is is still back under one again. Um, oh, I need to work on that poise. My poise is going to be a huge problem for me. Okay. What was in here again? Life ring and large china. Oh, you know, I don't have any rings on. Uh, let me let me fix that, actually. There we go. Cool. All right, now I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I think, consume this Ferris Lockstone. All right. I couldn't remember how good the items were in here. Floranthi ring? That sounds familiar. I feel like I used to use it. Like it had something to do with, ah, uh, like, um, like stamina or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's that. Actually, I do want that for sure. <coughs> it's not a perfect ring. But it is, it is a decent ring. Very cool. I'm really enjoying this co-op experience. And actually, part of part of what I want to do then is I want to go ahead and I want to grab the um, the full-sized co-op item. So instead of kind of being, no, 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 hey. I want to be this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Hey, this way, this way. Do... Really? Hey, I want to go this way. Uh, there's like a point gesture, right? Yeah, point. Uh, all right. I mean, kill the ninja turtle there. All right, cool, but I want to go this way. I, no, no, this way. Hello there. Oh, hop. Hi, Jen. All right, yep, we got paid. Da 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 da. This trip. I was. I still have. Okay. Where are. Right, there they are. My guy went in. I'm trying to actually make these guys one hit kills, but they're not yet. My magic's still not strong. Ooh, pick up item. Oh, throwing knife. What else do we have here? What do we have? A 
Help the soldier helm. I can't. Hey, that little bit of health, right? I don't, I don't want to turn it down. I don't think there's anything over here. All right. Yeah, I was aiming for the one without the shield up, actually. Maybe you'll notice, of course, that I've got that flame shield, so occasionally they're actually getting a little bit of fire. Man! All right, I, I actually typically never do this bad. Like, I've even used all my flasks. Like, that is not a typical thing for me ever. <coughs> I may need to postpone the next episode till I can kind of get up and eat and think. Because, uh, man, I'm not, I am not doing well. <coughs> Excuse me. Was that aromatic ooze? I turned my head and coughed and pressed the X button. Oh, yeah. Hate to use those life gems, though. I mean, they're expensive for me right now. But I already used up my consumable deal. Alright. Very cool. I can't remember, but I could have sworn there's like a treasure or something. No, he talks about a treasure, but isn't the treasure just like a rumor or something? Because at this point, I haven't found a treasure. Uh, wait, well, how do I get up over that way? Oh, all right, yeah, 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 that's fine. So I can't do that right yet. Gotcha. He's gonna congratulate me. Well, I see you managed to escape. I did. I didn't do it alone, I though. Hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers, like. Oh. But you should take this. It allows undead to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck. Now, I hate, though, that that is a missable item. Um. Because, like, right, the ability to actually do the real co-op, like, the full-length co-op, should not be missable, I think. Alright, you coming? Hop to Bunhoff to 54? I would, I would, wait. Uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, cool. I always wonder what it looks like if I'm holding up the binoculars and doing this. You actually see me like aim with the binoculars. There we go. I should know my craft. And I do. I know it well enough. Alright, you. Yeah. Not falling for your trickery. Oh, but apparently I'm doing that. I forgot about exploding barrels. <coughs> guy I'm with is like, man, what's this guy doing? That looks really cool. Like a tree. Yeah, quite something I had required. Alright. I think that's all I can grab right now. 
Oh yeah. We can go up this way though. Yeah, I'm really hoping to be able to play uh, Dark Souls 3 when that comes out. And that's actually, I think, going to come out in uh, what, February, March. I just got in the news that um, that they have delayed Persona 5 until 2016, like summer of 2016. Originally, it was coming out soon. Or at least uh, that was the that was you know the proposed re release date. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, we already got those guys. All right, so I kind of want to grab that. So, a nameless, a nameless soldier. A torch. I can't remember if there's... Like, I hear somebody. But I don't see anybody. Aha, there he is. Pick up the item more helmets uh, it's, it's interesting because in darks or in demon souls like equipment is so rare that it's actually exciting to see any and then with dark souls of course they made it to where no yeah, he's asleep on the job wait his uh his his character model's helmet actually stretched out there isn't it like, that looks wrong to me I can't tell what it is I think I'm seeing though I'll have to look at that later when I'm looking at and, and rendering these frame by frame. Okay. Uh, dang it! I've been playing some games lately where, like, the attack button is, in fact, the square button. And so I'm pressing the square button thinking I'm going to attack. Instead, I'm consuming items. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that? I don't think that goes anywhere. Yeah. That's that's an interesting thing to entertain though. Like I never it never even occurred to me that that might go somewhere. Even when playing it like the first couple times before I knew that it didn't. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Amber herb. I know. Yep. Nice. Good job, you. Hey. Hey. Go away. You know, this would actually make an amazing kind of badass background. Um. Oops, 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 oops. It's not that I'm worried about getting killed. I'm worried about getting knocked off. Hey, did he fall? All right. So, on that note, there's actually in the game options... Uh... Or at least I know it's on the PC version. Screen options? Here we go. Hide automatically. Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. So now, uh, if I don't interact with anything for a moment, it actually drops all my HUD components. Which is just amazing. So you can see, honestly, the graphics in this game you know, people always talked about them being bad. I totally disagree. I think that there's environments that are absolutely stunning. Like this sword here. Which is very clearly a sword of some kind of a giant, actually. Which we can see that it was literally inserted in the ground. Like, this is not just a piece of the scenery. This is from a battle that most certainly happened here and we can see that it happened a while ago because there's moss growing on that sword moss doesn't grow on swords very quickly in fact i don't know of moss growing on swords at all but i can presume based on the materials that i know that a sword is to be made of oh 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 crystal lizard i gotta remember where it is i think he's off to the right yeah all right so what are these things these go back all the way to the the lizards uh, that are similar in function in Demon Souls, that they give you uh, they give you materials and stuff like that, but like rare materials typically as you kill them. Now in Demon Souls, you had a, a limited number of times in which you ha ha ha. What are you? You can't go that way. I promise. I know this area. 
Uh, I mean, maybe not perfectly, but I know it too well. I know it well enough to know you can't go that way. At least, yeah, no, I know it w way too well. So, here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to complete things full circle a little bit. Uh, hold on, let me, let me, like, at least open this door. So I don't have to do all that big walking around, because this actually puts us back at the other area. Alright. We're doing some jolly, jolly co-op. I'm pretty. Let's let's check this guy out. What does he look like? Man, he's ugly. That's all right. Probably smells too. Rah! Oh hey. Now hold on. Is that a, a summonable like character? Yeah. We'll get Master Pate here. Hey wait wait. There we go. Uh, cause like, you know, if you summon Pate, he's like kind of a story character, so like there's some... Alright, I, I guess, I, you know, I best just hope I don't need to heal. Welcome to our first boss. And this boss's name? Well, let, let him do his intro first. <laughs> In fact, we'll see his name um, on the life bar. It's just we haven't really done any boss battles yet to see. So cool. And I want to avoid you. Uh, and I want to go ahead and I want to start pulling some soul arrows. Because I don't have a lot of healing items. And I also don't have a lot of power at this point in the game. Despite all the, what I consider to be over leveling I've done. So we kind of need to keep an eye on him, because one of the things that he'll do, specifically, is he'll rip off his arm, and he'll start to sweep even wider than he already sweeps. I'm not really giving a chance for him to cause me a lot of problems, which is good. All right, so kind of need the lock on, though, for the magic. Otherwise, I'd be looking at him directly. All right, has he done it yet? Has he ripped off his arm? Yeah, there he goes. But this is like the perfect time to attack him too. So once he rips off his arm, oh man. No, no, we're good now. We're safe now. Well, as safe as safe can be, but really, we're good. <coughs> All right, we got the soul of the lost, the last giant. And it's funny because actually killing the pursuer in someone else's world did a heck of a lot more for me than going ahead and killing the last giant did, right? Like, that was, like, only 10,000 souls. And you're like, man, only 10,000 souls? What? How dare you complain of such a large number? And I'm not complaining. What I'm saying, though, is that I, you know, I actually found that experience with the same number of people, and one of them even being an AI, um, to be a little more difficult. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Okay. And... Ah, what? Where did you come from? When did you come from? You must have followed me down here. Clever girl. Uh, enemies find a way. Oh, yeah, that area? We'll want to eventually come there, but it's still a little too early to do it, and, and to do it, to even get there safely is, is somewhat of a chore, actually, at this point in the game. Uh, there is uh, something I want to grab real fast before I go that way, back to our bonfire. 
to consume our souls before our the opportunity is um, consumed. I just want to grab this. There's a homeward bone. I mean, I could use that to save on time, but it is uh, pointless, perhaps. Mostly pointless. Uh, ooh, wait. Now you see that lighting change too. Everything goes through like this reddish yellow tint and that, uh, yeah. It's kind of a cheap way to achieve lighting effects, I'll be honest. It doesn't seem as dynamic. Well, it's not actually. It's sort of like, it's sort of like a way to cheat. It's like putting a color filter on an area. It's like taking all your pictures in sepia tone and being like, man, I'm an artist. Check it out. Um, but I digress. You know, it's, it's not terrible, I guess. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna rest at the bonfire. And Dagon Malentia never did leave. Oh well, there she goes. All right, good. <sighs> Travel to Majula the Fart Fire. Love me, Mama Jula. Mama Jula Oblongata. The nervous center of all of Lord Drang Lake. Lord Dran. <sighs> Actually, I think this is a good kind of conditional stopping point once I go ahead and I just, you know, use my souls. Now we're gonna be level 40 and going into um, some really awesome places. And that's cool because it, it you know, all right, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and om nom 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 the large souls of the lost undead. And I'm going to om nom 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 the two nameless soldiers. Or perhaps, all right, we're not gonna eat his soul though. There. Yep, seek, 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 seek last, level up. Okay, so maybe at some point I really should raise my vigor. I mean, really, or the other alternative is just not to get hit. Uh, I do want to have higher faith. And I guess I will bring up my vigor. A, a level, okay, so that's fine. All right, in fact, actually... Maybe I should have. Actually, that's marginally less uh, less useful. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Raise our vigor up from five to six. I know some people are like, "Well, of course, that's why you're taking so much damage." Well, yes, I know that. All right, but I'm trying to build a. What do, what do they call them? What do the kids call in these days glass cannon. I am building myself a glass cannon. Um, and in fact, there's Malentia right there. Oh, you again? Go on. It's cheap for you. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, what do we have here? Now, Cestus is cool, but, you know, because it's A, scaling with strength, but I'm never going to be a strength build. Or at least I'm not set up to be. Uh... Pharos Lockstone, Leningrass Key, Heal Miracle. Yeah. I would actually not mind having the Heal Miracle. Life. Um, But I also need to adjust my attunement slots for sure. I want some cool, like, armor or equipment. I don't have anything that's really cool. Oh, I've stocked some. I'm... Hey, I'm glad he's doing better. He's stocking new stuff? Really? Still same shield selection, I think. Yeah. Uh, hard leather. Elite Knight, Falconer. Infantry. Falcon. Okay. Oh. All right, yep. You know, there is a character we have actually never talked to once. We're gonna go talk to Sweet Shalcor. 
or Shalkor or whatever her name is. Oh, I'm dead, are we? Yep, we have a talking cat. One without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly. She's the adorable. Time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalk. Or Shalk. Should judge him out What did you want anyway? <laughs> Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right. Uh, so yeah, she's like a covenant type character, by the way. She has a lot of cool stuff, and she actually has some really cool rings and items that are kind of awesome. Like that silver cat ring does a lot for you later on. Um, Ring of Whispers, I feel like, only has one specific spot where it matters. And that's not for Nothing a long time. Well, that's dis All right, so what other covenants? You know, I know that there's, like, the Covenant of Champions. That was, I couldn't think of the name of it, but yeah. There's a Covenant of Champions that I could join. Uh, all right, so in my own game, I have not defeated the... Uh, oh, yeah, that's a great idea, though. Wait, wait, no. This is a great spot to end this episode. Let me stop continuing on with it aimlessly. So, I wanna thank you for joining me. It's been a blast. I love Dark Souls 2, and I'm just really happy to keep kind of bringing it and bringing it and bringing it. So, uh, want you to go ahead and hit subscribe. Want you to like. Um, I'm gonna go grab some food and kind of get ready for my day. But thank you so much for watching. It's been a blast. I hope to see you next time.